Your picture perfect blue, sunbathing under moon Star shining as your bones illuminate Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another tutorial for you guys. Uh, I get a lot of good feedback on my makeup tutorials and this was super requested. I had posted this look in an Instagram pic the other day and everyone wanted a tutorial so I filmed one today and I hope you enjoy it bunches. So if you want to see how to create this classic makeup look then just keep on watching. Alright guys so let's get started. I have started out with my foundation and eyebrows done. I feel like this is a very personal preference on your part. I am actually wearing Fit Me on my face today, the new matte and poreless and since I'm self tanned this is the color 310. It matches me very well. And then for my concealer I had just highlighted under my eyes and on my t-zone and a little bit on my chin with the Boo Boo cover-up that I got in a recent bag and I'm just I really love this it looks really nice to highlight with when I'm this color of tan so I did that and I set it with my airspun translucent powder and then my eyebrows I'm just wearing the elf eyebrow kit but um again those are really personal preferences on your part so I don't really bother to include them in these but I do have videos on them separately if you want to watch so the first thing I'm going to do is continue with the skin this is the Anastasia contour kit use a contour powder that you like for you I'm going to go in with this middle shade here which is my personal favorite um you want to go with a matte and cooler shade so it doesn't look fake and you always want it to look like a natural shadow so I'm going to be using a dry stipple brush this gives me more of an airbrush finish because of the duo fiber at the top uh, it's just my personal favorite way of contouring so I take some of the powder and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and I'm also going to highlight, um, not highlight, contour around the hairline and as you can see like I highlighted here so you can see it's already looking like a natural contour so I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more now. over the highlighter under my eyes that I've already set the concealer I mean I'm gonna be taking some of this yellow powder here um, just a little bit right under the eyes just to see see that difference in brightness it really really helps to um, finish your contouring and highlighting and get rid of any of those dark circles just look how much brighter that looks I just I think it makes a huge difference and I'm gonna go in with the highlighter here that it comes with it's like the most gorgeous color it's called sand I believe and I'm going to go in with a fan brush like this, and I'm just going to take some of the product, and I'm going to sweep it right on my cheekbone, give a nice glow to the skin. I love a good glow. A little bit down the bridge of my nose, on the upper parts of my brows. Look at that nice glow. I love a glow. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot because I'm using it partially as a mirror, so don't get too upset by that, please. The main focus of this look is to go with um, the wing and the red lip, so I'm not going to go in with anything really dramatic for blush, but I just like to use a little bit just to kind of blend the contouring and highlighting together. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit from this e.l.f. Um, blush here, and this is called Mellow Mauve. I love this color. It's extremely, like subtle like it's just a little bit to tie it together so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that right in the center here center upper part of the cheekbone see how it kind of just ties it together yeah I like how that looks it's just a little bit of a cheeky glow so for our eyes today let's move in on the eyes so I've already primed my eyelids with my Mac soft ochre paint pots which looks like this it's just a very standard paint pot color um, I like to go with the skin tone for this look and the first thing that I'm gonna do you're only gonna need two shades for the eyes when it comes to shadow from my NYX natural palette I'm gonna be taking this soft white color here it's extremely like common color just go with a nice vanilla color for the lid here and I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelid super easily don't put too much thought into this it's a this is like a really nice quick easy eye look when it comes to the shadow 
This is actually what I wear on a regular basis, even without the wing. Just for that natural, everyday look. So I put that on first, just all over the lid with a shader brush. And now I'm going to go back in with my NYX Sunny Bronzer, which is my favorite, even just for contouring, um, for the crease, for transition colors. It's amazing. And I'm going to use my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to buff this right into my crease, starting from the outer corner. And this is just going to add some dimension to the eye. It's not going to be too much. It's going to be just enough to deepen our eye. Like so. And blend to your heart's content. If you feel like the shadow still doesn't look fully blended, you can take a clean blending brush and just keep on blending. Now this next part is crucial. This is your winged liner. This is the main focus of your eyes besides the false lashes. I'm going to be using NYC's liquid liner. This is my favorite liner ever, high-end, low-end, whatever. It is matte, it is opaque, um, it's very, very black, and it doesn't chip or come off. I just, it's my holy grail eyeliner. I have a separate video on a full winged liner tutorial, which I will link down below, but um, I'll just give you a quick overview. So the first thing I do is I line the lash line first, and then I will show you what comes next. <laughs> Once you have your lash line lined, again, make sure you don't blink up during this. Actually, I never said this, so I don't know why I said it again. But don't look too far up where you will get your liner everywhere because it's still wet. But the next thing I do to create my wing is from that bottom line of your eye, make a flick upward. You don't even have to flick it. That's like the common word. Just draw the length that you want your wing to be. Mine's not going to be too crazy today. Just like that. There's the bottom line. The super easy next part is you take it from the outer corner of that and just drag it in and connect it. It is super easy. Just practice. And fill it in. It's that simple. It just takes practice. Um, it's just a few easy steps and it will come together. It just takes time to get used to it. Personally for, blah, 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 blah. Personally for this look, I like to keep the bottom lash line clean. I don't add liner, just a little bit of mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. This is Miss Manga. I really love this stuff. Does anyone else ever miss the mascara wand hole and it like scrapes your finger as you're trying to put it in? I hate that so much. Of course, it's my middle finger. My apologies. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go in with falsies. This is a personal preference. You can keep it like this if you want to, but I feel like false lash... I can't get this off and it's bothering me. False lashes complete things for me, and I am actually headed to an event after this. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my favorite from Cara Cosmetic Lashes. I get these from Shop Miss A. I have a haul video for these. I also have a video on how to apply false lashes, so I will make sure to link all these essentials down below if you want to kind of um, get the full scoop, but they look like this. They kind of flare on the edge. They're like wispy lashes. They're just super, super gorgeous, and I'm going to be applying them with my Lash Grip Adhesive, and I left my tweezers in the car, so <laughs> I'm really going to be doing my best here without my trusty old tweezers. So I did get my lashes on, praise the Lord above. The last one was a little bit of a struggle, but I think we're fine. Um, yeah, use tweezers. I am just really lazy and my car feels like three miles away. Uh, so now lips are another important part. The two main focuses of this are your wing and your lip. Um, so I'm going to be using a classic red color, which you'll see. But I'm going to start with my NYX Lip Primer. 
When you're wearing a matte lipstick, it is so essential to put on a primer or a chapstick, uh, something for it to stick to and uh, kind of prevent any creasing or like drying excessively. But that is all you need. And then for the lip color today, I'm going to be using the Classic Ruby Woo by MAC. This is probably my favorite red color ever. I think it looks good on everyone. If you want a classic matte blue undertoned red lip, you need this color in your life, girl. It's like necessary to splurge on this and get it. I'm going to keep it simple today and I'm not even going to line my lips. I'm just going to go for it. They do have a Ruby Woo liner now though, which I really want. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on my lipstick. Oh, I love how this looks together. It's like the most classic look in my opinion. But um, since we did not have lip liner, I'm going to clean up the bottom part of my lip here. And I'm going to be using just a little concealer brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be using a little bit of a color that will match me because... And you can use one shade lighter if you want to like highlight the lips. But I'm going to go for one that's pretty close to my skin tone right now. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of the brush and just clean up. And then you can kind of just blend out with your finger. And now it's all perfect. And that's the tutorial, people. I hope you guys liked it. I'm obsessed with this look. I wear this all the time and I always get asked on Instagram and all of these places how to do it. So this is a very classic look. You can wear it out to the grocery store. You can wear it to the Grammys. Wear it wherever your heart desires. But um, everybody wanted a tutorial, so I thought it was about time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to comment below other tutorials you want to see in the future and anything you want to see just in videos in general. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I love you bunches and bunches. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.